This recording will show you how to find the intersection of two planes, which is a line. We are given two planes, x minus y plus 3z equal to 1, and x plus 2y minus z equal to 3. Part C, we're going to show that 5 over 3, 2 thirds and 0 lies on the intersection of these two planes. Then we're going to find the equation of the line or intersection of the two planes. First, let's show that 5 over 3, 2 thirds and 0 lies on the intersection. First, we note that 5 over 3, 2 thirds and 0 lies on the first plane. Equation x minus y plus 3 z equal to 1. Because when you substitute x equal to 5 over 3, y equal to 2 thirds and z equal to 0, you'll find that it satisfies the first equation. Likewise, 5 over 3, 2 thirds and 0 lies on the second plane. x plus 2y minus z equal to 3. Because when you substitute x equal to 5 over 3, y equal to 2 thirds and z equal to 0, you find that this is equal to 3 as well. For these two calculations, we know that 5 over 3 and 2 thirds 0 lies on the intersection of two planes. And we know that these two planes are not parallel because the normals are not parallel. The intersection will be a straight line. As you see here, here this is the intersection, a straight line. I have the two planes. The normal of the first plane is n1, 1 minus 1, 3. And the normal of the second plane is n2 is 1, 2 minus 1. And since the two planes are not parallel, so they intersect. And the intersection is a straight line. And we have shown in part C, 5 over 3, 2 third and 0 lies on the intersection. Now, let's find the direction of the line. Let V be the vector representing the direction of the line. Then, first of all, V lies on the first plane. So V must be perpendicular to N1, the normal to the first plane. Likewise, V lies on plane number 2 as well. So V must be perpendicular to N2, the normal to the second plane. From these two statements, the vector V is perpendicular to both N1 and N2. So how do we find a vector perpendicular to both N1 and N2? One simple construction is N1 cross N2. So that is why we conclude that the vector V is parallel to N1 cross N2. How do we find N1 cross N2? So n1 is 1 minus 1, 3, n2 is 1, 2 minus 1. So you take the 3 by 3 determinant with i, j, k in the first row, 1 minus 1, 3 in the second row, and 1, 2 minus 1 in the third row, you find that n1 cross n2 is equal to minus 5i plus 4j and plus 3k. So you can take v equal to minus 5, 4, 3. So we have equation of line passes through 5 over 3, 2 thirds and 0, and parallel to minus 5, 4, 3. So we can write the equation of line in parametric form. x equal to x0 plus at, y equal to y0 plus bt, and z equal to z0 plus ct, where x0, y0, z0 is the point, the line pass through, and ABC is the direction of the line. That's why we get x equal to 5 over 3 minus 5t, y equal to 2 thirds plus 4t, and z equal to 0 plus 3t, and that complete the solution.